Hello everyone, I'm Andy Leo from NHL Draft Central and today we'll take a closer look at 2019 eligible Cole Caulfield. Despite his small size, the American winger has received praise from countless scouts, even going as far as comparing him to Alex the Cat, and rightfully so. Caulfield has accumulated 100 points and 72 goals in only 64 games with the NTDP and display no shortage of talent on the ice. So without waiting any longer, let's look at every aspect of his game. That means his skating, shooting, passing, stick handling, defensive game, physicality, hockey IQ and competitiveness. Let's start with his skating abilities. Cofield doesn't have an exceptional speed and you will never see him blow past anyone. He prefers to stay patient with the puck for a control zone entry than trying to pass defensemen on the outside. He has a quick stride, which gives him a great quickness and a half decent acceleration. He owns some slick edges and he is very fluid on the ice. His great agility allows him to escape pressure and dodge opponent effectively, which would be key for him to succeed at the pro level. Not the fastest, but a very complete skater. I would give him 4 stars. Let's pass to his shooting skills. Cofield is the best goal scorer of the draft with Kapokako and Arthur Kaliev in my opinion. His wrist shot is very dangerous thanks to his great velocity and accuracy. He has an amazing slap shot and he can put the puck back home from up high. He owns a slick release which allows him to get a shot on net from any position, create space for himself in traffic and surprise goalies with quick wrister. He also has a very dangerous backhand shot that helps him finish his job up close. He jumps on every low box in front and even if he often stays in the back of the play to stay open for a pass, he won't hesitate to give an extra effort to jump on a rebound and finish the job himself. Cofield possesses a tremendous shot on reception, which simply gives no time for any kind of reaction to the opposing goalie. He has the incredible ability to get in the back of the defense in rushes and get forgotten on the low circle on the power play. He has a very accurate shot and he can put the puck in the net from tough angles. He finds open eyes so well, which allows his teammate to find him easily. He loves to get eye on the breakout for potential breakaways and he owns some slick ends that helps him in 1v1 against goalies. He can also be very deceptive with fake shots or head fakes. His goal scoring abilities doesn't stop with his amazing shot. His slick hands and great hockey IQ allows him to stand out from any other draft eligible goal scorer. He easily gets a 5 stars. Let's now look at his passing abilities. Aldo Cofield is without a doubt a goal scorer. He still owns some decent playmaking skills. He always has the head up, which allows him to find open teammates with ease and feed them with nice simple passes. He possesses a good vision and he uses his teammate effectively. He feeds teammate very well in rushes and he'll always open the play if he thinks a teammate is in a better position. He loves to attract opponents on him with slick moves and set up partners for dangerous scoring chances. His shot stays his weapon of choice but his decent passing abilities complete his game. I'll give him 3 stars. Let's now talk about the stick handling. Cofield has some shifty mitts that makes him a threat in one-on-one. -on -one. He dodges opponent and makes his way through the opposing defense effortlessly. He's able to escape pressure and dodge poke check nicely too. He loves to create space for his shot with slick and creative moves. His tremendous puck skills makes him very deceptive with the puck. Thanks to his quick hands, he is dangerous in breakaways and a real threat along with the goalie. His stick handling abilities are a vital part of his game. I would give him 5 stars. Let's now look at his defensive game. Thanks to his great stick work, he creates many takeaways and is able to turn defensive plays into scoring chances. He has an active stick cutting passing lane and he recovers loose pucks effectively in the defensive end. He sacrifices himself by blocking shots and jumping into board battles. He is rarely an active part of the breakout as he'll often get high in the neutral zone 
for a chance of a breakaway or an unmanned rush. He's not a liability in his own end, but he's not very effective either. I would give him 2 stars. Let's now discuss about his physicality. Cofield is 5'7 and weights 163 pounds. He can surprise you with a good hit here and there, but ultimately he is pretty ineffective on the forecheck and in board battles. He puts a lot of efforts along the board and doesn't hesitate to get into dirty areas, but he gets pushed around pretty easily and clearly lacks strength. Thanks to his excellent quickness and competitiveness, I think Cofield will be able to adapt to the NHL, but his physicality stays a weakness. I would give him 1 star. Let's pass to his OK IQ. Cofield reads the play and understands the game quickly. He has the ability to get behind the defense in rushes and get forgotten on the low circle. He finds open ice well and seems to always be in a good position for a shot. He has a tremendous offensive awareness and he uses his partners very well to get into dangerous areas. He has some excellent offensive instincts and is able to get many breakaways by quickly reading the play and jumping in the neutral zone as soon as he sees an opportunity. He has an offensive mindset and will look to create something offensively before defending his own zone. He is patient with the puck and makes more decisions at all times. I would give him 5 stars. Let's finish by looking at his competitiveness. Despite his small frame, Cofield doesn't hesitate to get involved in physical battles. He works hard in corners and loves to put pressure on the puck carrier. He brings intensity to his game and always battles for the possession of the puck. He jumps on loose pucks and gets into dirty areas when needed. He'll do anything for a goal too. I would give him 4 stars. Cofield dominates game with his shot, puck skills and OK IQ, but adding to his frame would help him a lot in many aspects of the game. If you are looking for a complete forward that will drive the play at the pro level, Cofield's teammate Alex Turcotte, Trevor Zegras and Matthew Boldy would be smarter choice. But Cofield is the best goal scorer of the draft and will most likely be drafted between the 8th and 15th spot. Many will overlook his size but his ability to score goals should make him a top prospect. Anyway, what's your thoughts on Cole Cofield? I would love to read your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe for more NHL draft related videos and click here to watch my previous scouting report on 2019 eligible. I'll see you for the next one. Here now, here I come, you can't hide. Ready or not, here I come.